All right, in this video, I want to show how to make a uh, one combo box on a SharePoint form that's going to be updated from another uh, combo box. So here we are in SharePoint, and we have just a normal list. And at this point, I'll pick on the um, I'll pick on the list tab, and I'll pick on Customize in InfoPath. Now you do have to be an in, uh, Internet Explorer to make this work. So I'll pick on Allow, and it's going to open up the InfoPath uh, application. And the form should show up in InfoPath just like you had it designed uh, in SharePoint. Now what you want to do is you want to tie in the XML file. So in this case, I'll pick on Data, and I'll pick on uh, From Other Sources, and I'll say From XML. And you're going to point to the location of your XML file. And you probably need both of those files that I sent to you. All right, so um, you'll see there's two different ones. So I'll pick on the Downloads folder, and we'll go with uh, Sheet 2. It's fine. OK, good. And then we'll pick on Next. Now, even though it says this message, obviously, it just worked, uh, so we'll be fine. And I'll pick on Next there. And we'll give this, um, we'll call this XML data. OK, so that was an important step. Now, the next important step is to tie the pull-downs into that XML file. So I'm going to pick on the category, and you would have already made that a combo box in um, SharePoint. So I'm going to right-click on that, and we'll put, say Combo Box Properties. Now, you can see how the data source says uh, we want to make sure it does say XML data. And you come over here, and you pick on Entries. And uh, we, we're going to expand that, that sheet, and we'll get the proper field. Uh, on the first one, you want to make sure you click this little box over here. So it'll only show product one time, and it'll only show billing one time. So that's important right there. And I'll click on OK. So the first one's not a big deal. The second one is where we'll put the filter in. So I'll pick on um, the combo box properties. And at this point, we still want to make sure we go back to that, that XML data source. So I'll pick an XML data there. And now it says the filter that I put in before, you probably won't get this message the first time you do it. So I'll pick on yes there. Uh, now I'll pick on um, this icon to the right of the entries. And uh, I will pick the second field uh, from the XML list. However, this is where we want to filter the data. So I want to tell it, uh, I'll pick on add here. I want to tell it to make sure that from that data source, the function column is equal to a field. And now look what I'm doing here. I want to get the fields that are actually on the, uh, the form rather than on the XML data set. So I'm going to click on this pull down and I'll pick on main. That then will show me the fields and that is where we can make it go. So we want that to be, I'm calling it the category. You know, that's my field name. And that's really the important step. So the, the field from the XML list is going to be equal to the field that's already on the form. Uh, so that's the field that's on the form. And I'll click on OK. Click on OK. 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 And then we're there. Uh, if this, uh, in InfoPath to preview, I'll pick on Home, and then way over here I'll pick on Preview. And it's looking good. All right. So once the preview is over, I'll pick on Close. At this point, uh, I'll pick on uh, File, Quick Publish, All right, and that's going to put it right back into SharePoint, which is where we want it. And it looks like it's a pretty good uh, publish there. Now, just to go a little bit further with InfoPath, um, if you pick on a field, over here uh, under the Properties uh, menu, no, I'm sorry, under the Home menu, you, you can say Add Rule. And uh, here I can do like validation for that field, uh, I can also do things like when I say manage rules, uh, if I want to do it.
do a new uh, a new um, a new rule. I can do validation for that field in the info path. I could do conditional formatting, and an action would be to update another field. In fact, another thing that you asked for was that uh, I'm going to stop this video. Uh, so I'll pick on this and say stop.